Good day, mortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I made these super cheap and easy barrels. I have two different versions here that you can choose from. I have the super duper cheap and easy version, and then I have the slightly less cheap and slightly less easy version. But in my opinion, the slightly less cheap and easy version looks a whole lot better, but it might be a little bit too much effort for people who just don't have the means or patience to do it. So that's why I have two different versions for you guys to choose from. Both are made out of cardboard boxes, and it is a significantly cheaper alternative to real wooden barrels. If you look up wooden barrels on Amazon or anywhere online, they're usually gonna be over $100 for big ones like these. But I really wanted a big barrel for my medieval YouTube space. And I also figured that a lot of LARPers could use some barrels for their LARPs. So I figured I would make a couple of them. As you can see, this one is unpainted and it has duct tape around to look like those metal bands. And this one is painted and it has rope instead of the duct tape. Now before I really get into the tutorial part of this video, these are two different size barrels. I think this one was 18 by 18 by 20, but this one's definitely 18 by 18 by 24. I actually prefer the size of this one because it's not as fat as this one. This one's a little bit more realistic, but it does take up a lot of room. I super recommend painting it. It makes a humongous difference. It was really easy and I think it's definitely worth the price for the paint. Um, as for the rope, however, it was a lot more expensive and a lot harder to apply it on. I think it looks really good, but it might not be worth it for everybody. It might be worth it just to go with the duct tape band around since this is supposed to be a cheap and easy project and the rope makes it not so cheap and not so easy. Anyway, let's just jump right into the tutorial. All right, guys, to start out, you'll need some sort of straight edge. I'm using a meter stick because it's easiest. You could also use a ruler, scissors, an X-Acto knife, or some sort of razor, and a pencil. But today, I'm going to use a Sharpie so that you guys can see what I'm doing better. And of course, your cardboard box. So this box is a 24 by 18 by 18. You don't have to get that size. You can get whatever size you want. All right, so the first thing you want to do is actually detach the box to itself. There should be a seam going down somewhere where the cardboard box is sticking to each other. So you just want to rip that off. Like this. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this little section off. And now you're gonna work on the inside of the cardboard box. This is the side that's gonna be on the outside, obviously. So now you're going to want to basically measure the distance between each panel. So I know the distance between this bigger section is 24 inches. The section that is smaller is 18 inches. Sorry about the light, it keeps over exposing me. So let's say I want five wooden planks in the bigger section. So I'm going to divide 24 by five, and that's gonna give me about 4.8. Same thing for the section that's 18 inches. You're gonna divide that, I'd say by four, because it's a little bit smaller. So that would be about 4.8, or sorry, 4.5. So in the bigger panel, I'm going to mark 4.8 all the way across and then when i get to the smaller section i'm going to mark it 4.5 and yes those will be slightly smaller thinner wood planks but i don't think it's going to be a big deal as long as your wood planks look even mostly there's not one that's like really ultra small or really ultra big it should be fine so all the way across both sides of the barrel i'm going to mark that 4.5 and that 4.8 Preferably using a pencil, like I said, I'll use a sharpie so you guys can see it better. Alright guys, now y'all should have marks on both sides of the panels. Now basically all you're going to do is draw a straight line from each mark going all the way down the entire cardboard box. Now 
and see this middle section all of these sections that have a little crack on the sides you want to draw a line in that too All right guys, hopefully you can see all these lines, okay? Next, what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna take only these middle sections, okay? So just ignore these outer sections, focus only on the middle section. What you're gonna wanna do is take this X-Acto knife or whatever kind of blade that you have, and you're going to want to basically make a slit in the cardboard going from the top of the middle section all the way down to the middle section, but you don't want to cut all the way through. You only want to cut through about halfway through the cardboard, which is why you don't want to just use scissors and cut it. You want to actually use some sort of blade and lightly dip into it and slit it. And you also want to do it in these middle sections too, but be careful not to go all the way through and make two separate pieces. You do want to make these lines as straight as possible. It's okay if it's not perfect because real wood planks wouldn't have a perfect cut, especially in medieval times, I'd imagine. But try not to go too far off the line. All right, it might be kind of hard to show you because I haven't done the bottom sections yet, but it should be able to bend, see this piece bending, without it being completely separated. All right, now moving on to the outer sections. So we've got the middle section here and going that way, and then this and this way is the outer section. So in all these lines, I'm going to mark about seven inches. Um, it may or may not be different, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark seven inches on here. Let's do it this side. So I'm just going to draw a little line where the seven inch mark is. And then from here, so I've got the line on the one inch and you're going to want to draw about a quarter of an inch on both sides. So quarter of an inch and then one inch and a quarter, just like that. And then from there, you're going to want to draw a straight line going from this little seven inch mark right here, going all the way down to the quarter inches on both sides. Let's take that there and there. All right, and then we're going to draw a line like that. And then we're gonna do the other side. like that. So what I've just drawn is basically a triangle and we're going to cut out this triangle because when we basically form the barrel together and these parts are gonna be the parts that bend, they're going to kind of close together, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But in order to cut it out, I am taking scissors this time and I find it easiest to cut on the left side first, going all the way, really all the way to the middle section, and then do the right side after. And yes, you do wanna cut all the way through till you get to the middle section. Once you get to the middle section, stop. <laughs> See that? Now I'm gonna cut out the rest of the triangle. Just like that. All right, so when we bend it, it's going to need that space to basically connect to each other. See that? Anyway, you're gonna do what I just did to every single side, and I advise you do the markings first, get that out of the way, and then the cutting next, get that out of the way, 
because the process will go by a lot quicker if you do the same thing over and over again until it's finished before you move on to the next thing. Because this part is probably going to take you a hot minute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it now and I'll see you once I'm done with that. Alright, I have cut out all of the triangles and I really suggest that you wear gloves while doing this because cardboard like super dries out your hands and this was a very long and tedious process so okay so now i'm going to do my best to form it into a circle and then i'm going to tape the inside of the connecting pieces so that it kind of stays together here's my tape and i'm just going to put it on the inside Alright, now what I'm about to do is I'm about to tape along the entire barrel just like I did this one, except I'm going to use clear tape because I want to paint it. So I'm going to use a tape that's a lot thinner. Plus I want to try using rope instead of the kind of metal look, so we'll see how that goes. So this would be a lot easier if you had someone helping you, but I'm just going to do it by myself. So I'm going to tape along here and here, and I'm going to do my best to try to keep that circular shape. I'm going to do this by taping it with my left hand while bracing the inside of the barrel with my right hand. And I'm basically just going to pull the tape this way as I go along while bracing it with my right hand. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to try to make as little wrinkles in the tape as possible while also bending the cardboard each time I go along so that it's a circle rather than like a box. So. So I got about halfway done recording this section and then I realized I wasn't actually recording so glad I noticed. Um, so the next part, what you're going to do is you're going to start folding these down like this and I'm going to take individual pieces of tape and put each piece over the two connecting pieces and the reason why I'm using individual pieces of tape for each piece instead of just wrapping around the whole thing with one piece of tape is because I just find it to be a lot easier to do it that way. I've already started doing it over here. And as you can see, this helps really keep that circular shape. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. Alright, once you're done with this, you can see it looks like a nice circle now, although it's very fat. It's a very fat, fat barrel. Yeah, I probably should have stuck with the uh, slightly thinner box, but that's okay. It still works. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of tape going all the way around the circle and that'll give it a little bit more stability and if you're using that silver duct tape it'll look like that metal band that goes around the top. All right, now that you've done that, you want to flip it over and do the bottom side. All right, once you have finished that, it is time to make the lid. Now, I'm personally, I'm just going to make one top lid, um, but you can make a top and a bottom if you wanted. So you need another cardboard box. All right, we're going to put the cardboard 
on top. Make sure everything's fitting okay. And I actually wanna make sure that the clean side is on top and the side with all the words is on the bottom. I'm right, gonna go underneath the barrel. I'm gonna trace the outside with the Sharpie and make sure to go a little bit extra because you always want it to be too big rather than too small because you can always cut away at it later. So I'm going to try to keep it as still as possible and just trace the underside. Right, from here, I'm going to draw a couple of little notches, I guess. And this part's totally optional, but it might help it to stick inside of the barrel better. Like that. And then you're gonna wanna cut this whole thing out. All right, once you've done that, you wanna put it on top and just see how it fits and trim up any bit of it that you need to. You can see it's a lot longer on the sides, so I'm gonna trim that up real quick. All right, now I'm gonna see if this fits pretty well. If not, I'll just trim it more. I'm gonna bend these little spots down on the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna trim it right here a little bit. All right, I think that's probably good enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and tape some of this down just so it doesn't come off. Obviously, if you want your lid to come off, you don't have to tape it. All right, guys, here are the two barrels. If you want, you can make one like this and you're done. But I personally want to paint it because I think that this just isn't realistic looking enough. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this one and see how it goes. I have no idea if it's going to look good or not, but I guess we'll just have to see. All right, guys, I want to show you basically what I'm doing to paint it. I found a bunch of paint in our basement. So I've got two different color browns in here and I'm using this big fat paintbrush. It makes a nice like wood grain type texture. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some paint and I'm just going to put it on. Um, I've noticed that it doesn't really cover the tape very well. See how there's like a lighter shade where the tape is? So I'm just going to do my best to cover it after I paint it. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to get multiple shades of brown each time that I do strokes. I don't know how well you can see it, but in person, it looks really nice because it's all like multiple shades of brown in there, so. All right, for the lid, I'm going to basically draw lines with Sharpie to make it look like wood planks. So I'm just going to take this and draw a straight line as best as I can with one hand without moving the ruler like that. And then I know my planks are about one, uh, 4.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 1.5 inches up here, 1.5 inches down here. Then I'm going to basically line them up as best as I can, even though the lid is kind of dipping right now. And you can do this with pencil first so you, you don't accidentally mess up. And then I'm going to just draw a line again. It's definitely not perfect. Oh crap, I messed up. <laughs> 
because I'm doing trying to do this with one hand. And there you go, it's gonna look something like that. And if you want, you can use a fatter Sharpie or you can actually paint it so that the lines are more obvious. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera so that I can use both of my hands. All right, so once the paint was fully dried, I got this one inch rope that is 25 feet long, which ended up being the perfect length. And I had my husband hold it in place while I wrapped the rope around and once I wrapped it around two times, I marked where I wanted to cut the rope with tape. And after we marked it, we cut it with a mini saw. And I had Ryan help me here since I'm not very strong. And I did that for all four sections of the barrel. This next part was very tedious. All I did was hot glue it onto the barrel. And I actually thought that the hot glue wasn't gonna be strong enough to hold the rope on the barrel, but it was, so thank goodness for that. For the bottom rope, I basically had to hot glue it and hold it in place and wait for like a good minute or two before it fully dried, before I could move on to the next section. And I glued it down on every single line of the wooden planks. But once I got to the upper part of the rope, it was a lot easier because I could just glue it onto the bottom rope and I didn't have to hold it in place. It just fit nicely on top of the bottom rope. So by the top section, it got a lot easier and a lot faster. This part wasn't necessarily hard. It was just very tedious. All right, guys, I finished my barrel. The one that you guys saw me make is this one right here. And here is the last one that I made. As you can see, there is a pretty huge difference in the quality just from the painting and the rope. It makes it go from looking like a cardboard barrel to looking like almost a real barrel. So just these two things makes a huge difference. But the rope was kind of expensive considering this whole entire project. It was definitely the most expensive part of it. And it wasn't the easiest thing to apply with the sawing, the rope, and gluing it on. It was definitely the most difficult part of this whole project. I definitely would not be adding a rope if I were making lots of barrels. But I think it works really well for just one barrel in my little scene, my little medieval fantasy YouTube space. I think it looks really good. I could have done a better job, you know, and there's, there's definitely some flaws, but... It looks pretty good, I think. And I'm probably going to end up painting this one just like this one, but then having the duct tape over it again because I'm not buying another $25 for rope. I would really love it if anyone made either version of these barrels and you sent me a picture via any kind of social media. I usually use Facebook the most. But you can also message me through Twitter or Mino. I think it'd be really cool if some of my LARP friends made some of these for their LARPs. I think it's a really cool project, especially since real barrels are gonna be over a hundred dollars. Just be careful in any kind of wet environment. Um, you're not gonna wanna put these outside if it's raining or if it's damp out. Only put them outside if it's dry and it's gonna be dry and the moment it starts raining, put them inside because, I mean, it's cardboard, you know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this project down in the comments below. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video.